immediately after the Big Bang, the universe was in a hot and very, very, very homogeneous. Why is it so important to observe in this particular part of the spectrum? In the infrared, again, we can see through dust. We're lifting the cosmic veil on the universe. The depth of that drop tells you about the size of the planet. Researchers were able to learn all kinds of strange details about the alien visitor. You'd think that 2020 would have been a slow news year for everything space, with the worldwide disruptions to business as usual caused by the global pandemic. But you'd be wrong. It's been a year of research, a year of discovery, a year of universal truths. Change is coming, knowledge is growing, and the future looks bright for mankind's expanding exploration of the solar system and galaxy beyond. But it was also a year of out with the old and in with the new, as programs were shelved in favor of more exciting projects. And with that in mind, we bring you a recap of all the coolest cosmic stuff as we say farewell to the write-off that was 2020 and place it firmly where it belongs, in the trash can. Welcome to Fact Nominal. Today, we're saying goodbye to this dumpster fire of a year in the 2020 space recap. Good night, sweet prince. After 57 years in service, we say goodbye to the iconic Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. This radio telescope was once the largest dish in the world and was used to make significant breakthroughs in astronomy and astrophysics. Also featured in Hollywood films such as Contact and GoldenEye. Sadly, two catastrophic support cable failures in 2020 caused a suspended platform above the dish to come crashing down, leading to its disheartening and subsequent decommission. A rare first. Astronomers caught sight of a short gamma ray burst over 10 times brighter than expected. It was the birth of a magnetar, a rare phenomenon called a kilonova, emitting more energy in a split second than our sun emits over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. It happens when two extremely dense neutron stars merge, rotating a thousand times a second, creating a magnetic wind. Martian lakes. There's a good chance there are some large saltwater lakes under the Martian surface. The presence of one lake has been confirmed, as well as the discovery of three more just like it. The lakes cover a combined area of 75,000 square kilometers, an area one-fifth the size of Germany, and are remnants of water once present above ground. Made of water, not cheese. New research has shown that pockets of water could be hidden on the moon's surface. Permanent shadows may obscure penny-sized fragments of solid ice, obscuring it from our view and keeping it in its frozen state. The moon's surface is covered in craters, deep valleys, and high ridges. The nooks and crannies hidden from our view could be full of ice, having not seen a single ray of sunshine for potentially billions of years. There are over 15,000 square miles of permanent shadows on the visible side of the moon alone, and adding in the unlit back half could mean the moon has a vast reservoir of water, able to potentially be used for human consumption or rocket fuel on a future moon base. Once in a lifetime, the end of the year greeted us with a great conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter, coinciding with the northern hemisphere's winter solstice. The two planets could be seen right next to each other, low in the sky, separated by just one-tenth of a degree. Though conjunctions happen every 20 years or so, this particular phenomenon hasn't occurred for 400 years, with Jupiter's moons even visible in a clear sky. Spaghetti and Meatballs The strongest material in the universe actually resembles a plate of bulganese, with nuclear pasta being a strange form of matter found in ultra-dense objects such as dying neutron stars. In amongst the star's withering body, protons and neutrons are under the influence of intense gravitational force and pressure, squeezing them into weird quantum shapes with 10 billion times the comparative strength of steel. Staring at the Sun A joint venture between NASA and the ESA culminated in the launch of a solar orbiter that will get closer to the Sun than ever before. It will study the sun's polar regions with a heat shield that can withstand thermal bombardment from up to 970 degrees Fahrenheit. It's all in an effort to understand the heliosphere, the realm of solar influence that encompasses our entire solar system and a good chunk of the surrounding space. No friends. 
Stars that are eight or more times the size of our own sun have been detected sitting just outside the boundaries of their galaxies, a place where there's not enough dust, gas, or primordial materials present for the stars to form. When a binary paired star goes into supernova, it ejects its partner out into the emptiness of space at half a million miles per hour. Touchdown. The OSIRIS-REx mission successfully collected pieces of the massive Bennu asteroid and brought them back to NASA's base here on Earth. Just a few months later, the asteroid Rugu got a little haircut, courtesy of Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission. These two samples represent the first pieces of outer space material brought back for study since the Apollo lunar missions and will provide valuable insight into the formation of rocky planets. New Energy it's thought now that our only chance to observe dark matter and dark energy is the gravitational force that it exerts on visible matter around it. Exotic Low Mass Field, or ELF, is formed in tandem with gravitational and electromagnetic waves, traveling close to the speed of light with very little mass. The feeble signals are detectable with quantum sensor networks and may be the missing piece of the dark matter puzzle. Moon's Moon Earth's moon is so large that it could almost be reclassified as a dwarf planet. Moons this size, like Saturn's Titan and Jupiter's Callisto, could have their own smaller moons orbiting them in wide separation of about 1,600 miles, being just 10 miles in diameter. Life closer to home Astronomers detected the presence of phosphine gas in the Venetian atmosphere. It's a compound familiar to us on Earth, found in the presence of microorganisms, with many saying it's an important biosignature indicative of life. There was instant curiosity that the extremely inhospitable environment in the clouds of Venus may host life. Geological processes and solar radiation can generate phosphine in small amounts, but only biological processes can generate it in this large of a concentration. New Frontier this year saw the rather comically named Space Force get its chief of operations and first 2,500 personnel. The newly formed U.S. military arm refers to their soldiers as guardians, and it's working towards a system command that will deal with the security issues associated with further space exploration. The insignia bears an uncanny resemblance to that worn by the crew aboard the Starship Enterprise. Family Portrait Analysis of recent gravitational wave data has led to the redefinition of black holes and more insight into how they form. 39 additional black holes and neutron stars have been studied in fine detail using a pair of 4-kilometer long detectors in the U.S. It's thought now that the formation of the recently discovered micro or primordial black holes is likely to have happened immediately after the Big Bang. Moonwalk without a spacesuit on the higher altitude surfaces of the moon, iron has been observed undergoing oxidization, while other iron deposits found in the deeper craters remain unchanged. This hints at the presence of oxygen on the moon, a place where no known atmosphere exists. Small amounts of oxygen from the very limits of Earth's atmosphere are swept to the moon by bursts of solar wind. We'll miss you, Spitzer. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has been taking deep space observations for 16 years, capturing an astonishing number of highly detailed images of celestial bodies. It also used spectroscopy to assess stars and exoplanets beyond our sight, using the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum to record temperatures, compositions, orbits, and a myriad of other collected data. It's now been decommissioned and will spiral out into the blackness of space. Heating up. Our universe is gradually warming up, though it's unclear exactly how this fits into the current model of universal expansion following the Big Bang. As the universe expands, gravity pulls dark matter and gas together to form galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Over the last 10 billion years, the mean temperature of gas spread throughout the universe has increased by a magnitude of 10, increasing from 400,000 to over 4 million degrees Fahrenheit. Get the people from Guinness. Saturn is the planet that keeps on giving. NASA's Cassini spacecraft captured high-resolution photographs this year confirming the existence of 20 more moons, bringing the grand total to 82. It's estimated that Saturn may well have well in excess of 100 moons, with many under a mile in diameter and so small that they evade sensors. See you next time.
the NEOWISE mission headed by NASA discovered a never-before-seen comet. The icy traveler came extremely close to the sun but survived the encounter, with its magnificent tail visible from the Earth's surface by interested onlookers and astronomers. It was the brightest comet to grace our skies in over 30 years. However, a wide-ranging orbit means it won't return for another 6,800 years. Best Picture the New Event Horizon Telescope made history by giving us our first glimpse ever of a black hole. The Messier 87 black hole is over 50 million light years away, containing the equivalent mass of 6.5 billion of our suns. The supermassive M87 black hole's silhouette is clearly visible, standing out as a shadow absorbing the light source around it. Docking Compatible Aerospace company Northrop Grumman was the first company to successfully dock two commercial satellites in orbit. A mission extension vehicle, or MEV, provided enough fuel to support the satellite's small adjustment booster rockets for another five years, with the U.S. military looking to use the technology to extend the lifespans of their aging satellites. The process will save millions and lessen the amount of space junk caught in near-Earth orbit. Long Distance Call Astronomical researchers at MIT intercepted a repeating signal of unknown origin coming from deep space. What makes this so significant is its uniformity, following a pattern with precision never before seen in all our observations of the cosmos. The fast radio burst came from a galaxy over 50 million light years away and consisted of four days of recorded signals followed by 12 days of silence, then repeating the pattern with four more days of radio bursts. The Big Bend Theory Hubble's constant describes the rate of expansion of the universe, using the known distances of 50 local galaxies to determine how fast our universe is expanding. This works in the current accepted theory that the universe lies on a flat plane like a piece of paper. But the universe could be curling up into a sphere shaped more like a basketball. Instead of being infinite, space loops around and meets itself. Weird Lunar Goo China's U-22 rover found a bizarre gel-like substance on the surface of the moon that was deep green in color. Despite at first being excited that they had discovered a new biological compound, scientists were later disappointed to find out that the mystery goo had a more rational explanation. It was breccia, broken fragments of different minerals that are fused together after a volcanic eruption, or in this case, a meteoric impact. Money, money, money. Lucrative government contracts were awarded to both SpaceX and United Launch Alliance on the order of $316 million and $337 million, respectively, following successful civilian rocket programs. The pair of companies will support more than 30 heavy-lift launches for the Space Force over the next five years. Sadly, rivals Blue Origin and Northrop Grumman missed out on this round, developing rocket technology ahead of the next lot of competition and government outsourcing.